All right, what's up, everybody? Peter Gilmore here for a late night video right here on the Peter fucking Gilmore channel. Thank you, uh, youtube.com slash Peter Gilmore. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you like the video, hit that subscribe button down there in the description box below. And as always, follow me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter and Instagram, share the video all over the internet. And turn on the uh, turn on all notifications, hit that bell, turn on all notifications so you don't miss a goddamn fucking thing. And that's all you gotta do. So do it now. Alright. Hope everybody had a great Sunday. I tried to make the most of it, even though it was really, uh, you know, it wasn't too, too, um, hot today. It was a little bit less humid, but still, I was, like, sweating up a storm, and, you know, I was out most of the day with the missus and with, uh, you know, my parents and everything. So, I'm trying to make the most of a, of a really horrible weekend, but, not really that horrible, but still. It is pretty much what it is. So, start the new week tomorrow. You know, back to work and everything. I'm going to do what I got to do and make the money that I, you know, I have to. And then that'll probably be it. And then I'm enjoying another, uh, hopefully, good weekend. Good week and a good weekend. But we'll see what happens with that. Now, as the title below says, I would have done this on my rant channel. But I felt like coming on, the, on um, my actual name channel... Not the main channel, not the Killer Demons channel. I wanted to come on this channel and talk some talk some um, real realism. I wanted to come out and be real to you people. And this is not Peter Gilmore talking. This is the real Peter. I'm not gonna say my last name because a lot of you know it anyway. But but for those of you who uh, don't, but I'm not gonna say it because for personal reasons. But, as the title below says, I'm going to come out and clean everything up. Now, there's a lot of uh, things going on uh, in my personal life uh, and on YouTube that needs to be addressed. And I'm not going to drop names or anything because I don't want to do that. And I don't need to do that. To do that. But I'm just coming out and cleaning up the garbage that's been going on lately. Now, for those of you who don't know, uh, there's been a lot of things going on over the last two weeks, almost two weeks now, uh, with me and certain people that will not be named. Um, but they'll watch it anyway, but and laugh and joke around and clip and clip parts of the video and make fun. And I personally don't give a shit. You can go on your merry way, make fun of me, and and stuff, and do 6,000 more videos about me. I personally don't care anymore. I don't care anymore. Um, I'm not mentioning you anymore. I'm not doing videos about you anymore. I'm not doing anything else anymore. Whether you um, think about it or not. And like I said, you can do... A hundred thousand videos about me. I'm. Per I personally don't care if you know. If you want to cry and bitch about privacy complaints and and this and that, then that's on you. That's that's on you. Cause you took it a little bit too far, and maybe in a way I did too. But like I said, I'm ending this situation, and I'm going to move on with my life. I know I said that many, 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 many times, and you know. And I regret saying every time, but this time it's actually really, really f gonna happen. Hope you know, I'm gonna do my best to fix my life because my life has been chaotic over the last couple months with my job, my stress level being up the wazoo, and you know, me and the missus, you know. Having having arguments and everything here and there about we're just petty shit, um, but but still you know we still we still love each other and stuff like that. And I know I might have put her in harm's way with these these uh, people and everything, and put my family at risk and put other people that I love at risk 
and that's on me. I will admit, right here, right now, that shit is on me. You know, I'm not the greatest person in the world. I never said I was the greatest person in the world. I have my faults and everything, and I open my big fat mouth every, a lot, a lot, and insert foot, you know, you know, especially on this website, and that I've been on for 13 goddamn freaking years coming up in about a month from now, you know, I don't consider myself a tough guy, but I will defend myself when, when, the, when it needs to be done, when people go below the belt and dox and do, th do this and that and get family members involved and this and that and, you know, you know, and then, you know, people want to, want to do, want to make threats to me, then I, when I make threats to them, they, they, you know, they joke around and, you know, I think I'm full of shit, but when, you know, when I say, you know, if you want to throw down, then we'll, we'll go at it, and then, you know, they'll say, oh yeah, we're going to do it, and then, you know, most of the time it doesn't happen, but, you know, now somebody, you know, I'm not going to say, I'm not going to say who it is, we all know who it is, but, you know, somebody had the balls to do it, but still, did nothing. And they can say that I hid behind my girlfriend and I wasn't home. But here's the reality. I was home. And you can say that, oh, I was afraid. I'm a pussy and this and that. That I wasn't, I didn't want to come out and confront and this and that. I'm, 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 I, you know, I'm, I'm a coward and this and that. I don't want to confront people because I talk a big game. That's your own preference. If you want to believe your own bullshit, then go ahead. Yeah, maybe you got, I got a dose of reality. Maybe karma finally came came to came to collect, but didn't really collect. And it is what it is. And you know, these people are gonna continue to, to hound me and harass me. But all I'm gonna say is. I personally don't care anymore. I don't care. I'm just going to be who I am. And that's Peter Gilmore on here. And in real life, you know the other Peter. But I only come on here and I play a character. Peter Gilmore is a character that I made that really somebody gave me when I was in on my radio days. And I took that... And I kind of adopted it as my actual name, you know. And I just used it as a character since like the mid '90s into uh, up to now, you know. But when people like Nick, you know, and Lauren, and and um, the former Prince Idol, and everybody in the prophecy that has met me, or you know, or other people that. I mean, I don't I haven't met really a lot of people from the YWC besides Hill Steven and um that. But you know, when when I go on panels and stuff and I show my face, my sexy face and everything, you know, they see me. They see they say, "Oh, this that's Peter Gilmore. That's him." You know, you know. And I joke around. I know I, I like to joke around on panels like Chase's panel. Or, you know, back in the day, hanging, you know, the epic hangouts with WJ and everything. But, you know, like I said, you know, I may, people think, you know, I'm full of shit. Like I said, you can think what you want. That I talk a big game and I don't back up what I say. It's just me defending myself. If I want to say, like, oh, I'm going to come kick your ass or something like that, I possibly could come kick your ass. But, you know, it is what it, it, is, what it is. And that's pretty much it. And as far as, pe you know, challenging people to come to my actual house, you actually thought that was real. 
I didn't actually say, hey, come to my actual house, and I was going to actually dox myself, and even I did one time on video, but what, it, is what it, it is what it is, but I wasn't really going to go, co like, come out and actually dox myself, like, hey, come to whatever street, you know, in Brooklyn, and come, come kick my ass, right? I would have met you, met somebody in the city, like in Central Park or at Madison Square Garden. You know, or at the park around around my way. We could have had a confrontation. We didn't have to fight or anything. We could have talked civilly. Or we could have just done it on YouTube. It is what it is. But, you know, I never actually really challenge someone to come actually to my house to, to fight me but you know somebody actually had the balls and did it but still nothing happened and if they want to claim that I'm a pussy and I hid behind Rosa that's on you because I wasn't gonna go out outside my house and, and commit a crime now, I wasn't going to go out and confront you because it was pointless. It would be pointless. Like, you, you know, you'll be like, oh, you want to talk now? You want to talk shit now? Blah, blah, blah. Why do you have a problem with me? We could have just done that on YouTube. I didn't have to do it in real life. And I wasn't going to act a fool and commit a crime and really put somebody in the hospital because I could have done it. But I'm not going to act a fool and risk my reputation and my entire and fuck my entire life up by going to jail just for simple assault and defending my property and my girlfriend. So I wasn't going to do that. So, but believe what you will. And if you think I'm not explaining the whole thing, like I said, I don't care. It is what it is. But all I'm going to say is that is this I'm done with drama I'm done with these people these insignificant people that really don't bring anything to the table and don't have anything to do with my life I don't need you like I don't need like 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 Shawn Michaels never needed Janetti I don't need you people in my life you don't run my life you don't tell me what to do on YouTube or in real life. I live my own life. I'm 45. I have a, a, my own job. I pay my own bills. And that's it. I have a girlfriend. For uh, 14 years. And that's uh, pretty much it. I have I have a good life. You know, some of you may not have the life that you have, and you're on here 24-7, 365, to harass people, and dox people, and this and that, send food, which I think is really fucking stupid, and you didn't, you, it, it, does it, does it, does it give you a, give, give you, um, joy, does it, you know, does you, does it make, put money in your pocket? No, it's just for harassment, that's it, I don't do that shit. I don't need to. You know, but when push comes to shove, you know, arguing back and forth with these people is not healthy for me. It's not, you know. My friends give me a whole ton of advice, like ignore, and ignore, ignore, and I keep going on and on and on. And it makes me, it makes me look look dumb and you know it puts a bad taste in some people's mouths I'm, I'm you know and I'm not, I know I'm not the greatest person on YouTube I know that I never I know I'll never be like uh, like a Joe Cronin or JD I'll never get the views and and uh, subs there yet but I'm just on here just to have fun I'm not on here to start start drama or problems or instigate things people think that that I do, but I really don't. But I mean, like I said, that's it. It's your opinion. Think what you will, and that's, and that's it. But 
I think it's just time to to come clean. I'm not saying I'm leaving YouTube or anything like that. I'm just gonna I'm gonna keep doing what I gotta do, my raw reviews and wrestling news and music news, and just just shooting the shit when I feel like shooting the shit with my friends, and that's it. And if people still wanna you know talk behind my back and make videos about me. I don't care because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna watch it and I'm not gonna care. If somebody sends me a video, I'm like, I don't care. I don't care. And personally, I'm probably not gonna be on YouTube for much longer. Because I'd rather just get off this toxic website and go to Twitch or go just go back to Facebook Live videos. I just do videos for my friends on my Facebook page and that's it. I don't need YouTube. I never did. I only did YouTube because it's a hobby. But, you know, seeing the way that YouTube's been over the last 12, 13 years, well, not, well, the last few years, it's just become a toxic website that, and the, they don't, I mean, they don't protect their content creators from these fucking people. And it gets to the point where people just take things way out of proportion. They can't take a joke. You know, because some of the things I say are jokes. Some of them might, might not be funny, but it is what it is. You don't have to like what I say. You don't have to like my videos. I personally don't care. I don't care if I get 50 views in a week or, you know, 150 or 2,000. It's nice, but, you know not putting really any money in my pocket I'm just doing my job and I don't do videos when I'm at work so unless I'm on my lunch break but it is what it is so so people want an apology then I will apologize for harassing people and calling people names and this and that if you want an apology, that's my apology. If you don't want to believe the apology is real, I personally, like I said, don't care. But, you know, and if people don't want to back off from their bullshit, then that's on them. That's going to be on them. It's not going to be on me because I'm moving away from these insignificant people that don't bring me, don't... That I don't need in my life anymore. I don't need the negativity anymore. I'm trying to be positive. I'm trying to fix my life. I've had, you know, over the last few months, you know, my anger has gone up the wazoo. My anxiety and my depression have gone up the wazoo. I've said mean things to people, people that I love, you know. Rosa and my parents especially and you can laugh at that. I don't give two shits, but You know There's people that said uh, it's like well Peter would l leave us alone, and, you know try to try to fix his life We would back off. I don't believe that for one second, but uh, But I'm telling you right here right now, and this is beat me once again being real if you want me out of your life, I'll be out of your life. As long as you do the same. But I know you peep, some of you people won't. You'll keep going and going and going like the Energizer Bunny. Harassing me, harassing my parents, harassing Rosa and her family that don't need to be in this thing. They don't need to be in it. It's one-on-one. -on -one. Don't involve them anymore. I'm telling you right now, I'm, I'm, just, I'm not giving you warnings or ultimatums or anything like that. Leave my family and my girlfriend's family out of your videos and out of your freaking mouth. That's all I ask. But I know you guys won't do it, so I personally don't care. I'm just going to move away and be under the radar. And that's pretty much it. I'm just going to do my, my reviews, and if, if I need to, a rant. But not about drama on YouTube or in my life or anything like that. I'm going to keep that private and behind the scenes. Because it doesn't need to be on YouTube anymore. 
and like I said, I'm done with these people. I, I just want to be done. I want to fix my life. I'm going to get on some, you know, hopefully better medication to fix my life. And I'm going to strive to be a better person in real life and on this platform or Twitch or whatever platform I decide to go to. Or continue my videos on. Or I might not just do videos anymore. But I only do this as an escape and to try to communicate and get my voice out there in the wrestling world and or in the wrestling community. You know, and, you know, I talk a lot of music. Man, I get a lot of love from the music community more than the wrestling community. But I'm a well-known guy, so... So that's all I'm gonna say about that. So, so to um, so the members of the prophecy: Nick, Lauren, Max, Lethal, fan of YouTube, Chase, everybody else. Uh, I want to po- uh, make a formal apology to you guys because I haven't been, you know, the leader that I should be. But I know you always got my back. I always got Nick's back no matter what. Nick's always got my back no matter what. Because he's one of my best friends. Lauren's one of my best friends as well. She's got my back. Prince. Uh, you know. Well, Sloan. He wants to be known as Sloan now. Uh, he's always got my back. You know. And even though I don't know him that well. Um, fan of YouTube's always got my back. Chase. In a way, he has my back as well. Double Z. You know. And others that I do sometimes talk to on panels or in the chat. Like uh, ZTB and ITB. And Tony from Revere. And Joe Cronin. And guys like that. You know, I know they may not know me that well. I mean, in real life or anything like that. They just know me from YouTube. But, you know, I never... I always have their back... And I respect them and everything. But. It is what it is. You know. Maybe I, I, I can't take creative criticism. And people tell me. It's like oh you suck. And this and that. I Like I said. I, I may not be the most popular person on YouTube. Yeah, I mean there are a lot of others that are worse than me. And people say, I get a free pass because of all the supposed, the supposed pedophilia that really need, people need to get off my dick about. Because there's no proof, no legit proof about that. I already talked about the Britney situation. I apologize for that. And people talk about, it's like, oh, I'm saying sexual remarks to kids. Even that, that fake fake person that one of those fake kids that is involved with other people they can believe what they want and like I said I personally don't care but if they want an apology then I'm sorry I'm just moving away far away and if you know you guys can't see that I'm trying to be real and trying to fix my life it's not gonna be like overnight or anything like that it's gonna take a while but I would say hopefully in the next three to six months, but probably by the end of the year going into 2023, I'm going to fix my life and try to get better on, on this platform or if I go to t- another platform, if I feel like it, I want to be a better person and just do what I do best. And that's try to entertain you. And if I can't entertain you, then, I, then I'm sorry that I can't entertain you. But it is pretty much what it is. So that's all I really got to say about that. And like I said, you may not have, you know, you might, you don't have to believe me. You think I'm full of shit, that I'm talking out my ass. That I was like, oh, Peter's going to keep doing the same fucking shit. He's going to antagonize us. He's going to harass us and this and that. You believe what you ha- what you will, but I've ignored these people for over a week now, and they think they can get my goat, 
still they want me to you know drop their names and stuff I mean maybe I'm doing it now but I'm not really mentioning you by name they know who they are but I'm just backing away from everything I'm gonna just live my freaking life I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my summer um I wasn't gonna do all the things I want this summer I mean, I only got like a month left. I can still do a couple of things. I mean, I am going to wrestling shows in August. Um, but as far as I um, going to like away from uh, away from the city, or you know, besides, I did go to Jersey for a while, uh, a few weeks ago. Um, but as far as a long term vacation, that may or may not happen. So maybe the end of August, or maybe maybe after Labor Day, or sometime maybe in September or October. Well, I'll take my actual actual vacation. But, you know, things come up, I can't control that. You know, it is what it is. Things come up, and I have to cancel plans, cancel reservations, and stuff like that that I already made. Thankfully, I get my money back for it. And, you know, it sucks because, you know, I hate... You know, I, I try to go out of the house as much as I can for walks and, you know, go to the store, whatever I got to do, see my parents every once in a while, you know, go to a ball game, if I, uh, you know, in Coney Island or if I ever go to a Met game, you know, concerts are coming up I really want to go to. I'm hoping to do that this uh, for the rest of this year and going into next year, you know, but, you know, it is pretty much what it is you know I do my job to the best of my ability I make pretty damn good money and I tout myself like yeah I make more money than you I get more pussy than you I mean that's technically real I mean I don't care if you make like $20 an hour that's fine that's no lucky you but I mean you say you I mean it's like oh I get more pussy than you Peter <laughs> I just say I get more pussy than you as a joke I mean it's real but it's still a joke you know, I fool around on my shows. We joke around. But, you know, peep, some people, like I said, cannot take a joke. And yet, I open my... And I, like I said earlier in the video, sometimes I, you know, say things that are, you know, off the wall and offensive. And it gets me in, into a lot of trouble. But hey, I'm only human of flesh and blood, so... But... It is what it is, but people want to call me a coward, to call me a pussy, that I I can't confront people face to face. Then that's your opinion. That's only your opinion. You're entitled to your own opinion. But all I'm gonna say is that if you got offended in any way, and if you don't want to believe what I'm what I'm saying, that's fine. But I'm coming out and saying I apologize to everybody on YouTube and in real life. That, and that I'm going to be stepping away, not from YouTube, I'm stepping away, I'm backing away from things, and, and people, and I'm going to, tr I'm trying to fix my life, because it's going out of control, my temper, my anger is just up the wazoo, um, and I'm trying to get the help I need, I'm not blaming my condition, on all the shit that's happening now, I'm not saying, oh, like, oh, you said this out of, you know, uh, you know, you have depression and anxiety. That's not an excuse. I never said it was an excuse. But, you know, certain people push push my buttons and I retaliate when I should not be retaliating. But when you bring certain people up, up that should not even be involved, then yeah, I will retaliate. And if you don't like what I say, then I'm sorry and that's too bad. Man, if you think I'm a hypocrite, like I said, that's your opinion. I personally don't care. So, take it for what you will. If you want to do a response, go ahead and do a response. I personally don't give two shits. What, well, about that. I mean, that's your opinion. I don't care anymore. I just don't fucking care anymore. About YouTube. Uh, I really don't care much about the prophecy. I really don't. The prophecy, I mean, it's real life people. It's my, it's my good friends on YouTube and in real life. We're strong. 
You know, we argue here and there behind the scenes. We don't argue here on YouTube. We don't need to. We just, we joke around, we have fun, and that's all that matters. If you think it's fake, then you're fake yourself. But, I'm not fake. I'm being real. I'm pouring my heart and soul out in this 30, 30 almost 31 minute video. I gotta finish up. Um, so, that's all I'm gonna say. So, to, every, to anybody that I offended in the 13 years I've been on YouTube, I will come out, be a man, and apologize, and I will back away from you I, and I'm being real if you don't think I'm gonna I'm doing I'm gonna back off then that's on you but as long as you if you're not gonna back away then that's on you too so that's all I, I'm gonna really say about that so I'm gonna back away from this drama that I started and it's my fault I will admit that I started all this bullshit and I instigated and made it a real mess and I hurt a lot of people that that I trust and love and um I take full responsibility for my actions and that's um pretty much all I'm gonna say about that you can think it's fake and, it, and you know do videos saying oh Peter's a liar and he's a hypocrite like I said I don't care so that's it so that's all I gotta say thank you all for watching have a great rest of your um late Sunday night have a good week, everybody. I will be back tomorrow, start late tomorrow night, with my Monday night Raw review. And if anything comes up tomorrow, I might come back and do a video. But we'll see what happens with that. So have a great night, everybody. I'm sorry. Peter Gilmore. And, well, yeah. This is the real Peter Gilmore signing off. Peace out. Rock on and rock on with your coke out. And that's a joke, too, but... It's, you know, I'm just paying tribute to Lemmy. Um, but yeah, rock on and rock hard with your cock out. And that's all I'm going to say about that. If you're not down with that, I'm sorry. And we got three words for you. Fuck you, man. That's all I got to say. Thanks for watching, everybody. And let's just get over this bullshit. I'm done. I'm just done. Have a nice, have a nice life, guys. I'll see you next time.